Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology with Summi. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Today we are going to see characteristics of eukaryotic cell. Eukaryotic cell. Generally, there are two types of cells, prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. Let's see characters of eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells show presence of nucleus inside a complex membrane. So here in eukaryotic cell, nucleus is covered by a membrane and that membrane is called as a nuclear membrane. This is the important distinguishing character between prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. Further, eukaryotic cell has more than one chromosome. The genetic material is located in nucleus, chloroplast and mitochondria. It contains nuclear membrane, nucleolus and histone proteins. Further, the size of eukaryotic cell ranges from 2 to 100 micrometer in diameter. Eukaryotic cell reproduces asexually by cell division through mitosis and sexually by meiosis. So here eukaryotic cell shows two modes of multiplication and that are mitosis and meiosis, asexually by mitosis and sexually by meiosis. Further, gas vacuole and mesosomes are absent in eukaryotic cell. Now this gas vacuole and mesosomes are present in prokaryotic cells. Plasma membrane show presence of sterols. The ribosome is of 70S and 80S structure type. Further, 70S type ribosome is located in mitochondria and 80S type ribosome is located in rough endoplasmic reticulum. Now, the respiratory system is present in mitochondria. These cells may show the presence of lysosomes. The anaerobic energy yielding mechanism is shown through glycolysis leading to lactic acid production. Now, here energy is obtained from a glycolysis mechanism and the product obtained is lactic acid. Eukaryotic cell lacks ability to fix atmospheric nitrogen. Now this ability of fixing atmospheric nitrogen is present in some prokaryotic cells. Magnetogenesis is absent in eukaryotic cell. Further, it shows about 40% of G plus C content. And protein synthesis is carried out on rough endoplasmic reticulum. So, the protein synthesis mechanism is carried out in endoplasmic reticulum. The cell wall is present in plants, algae and fungi, but it is absent in protozoa and animals. Now, here the cell wall is composed of polysaccharides and show the absence of peptidoglycan. Now, eukaryotic cell contains polysaccharide in the cell wall as well as prokaryotic cell contains peptidoglycan as an important ingredient or we can say important part of a cell wall. It shows absence of flagella, pili and capsule. Now these three parts flagella, pili and capsule are locomotory organs of prokaryotic cell and hence eukaryotic cell show absence of these three organ organs. Now the examples of plant examples are plants, animals, algae, fungi and human beings. Here with the help of diagrammatic representation I have tried to show a eukaryotic cell. So this is a diagram of a eukaryotic cell. First of all the outermost layer is a cell wall. The main component of a cell wall is polysaccharide and here peptidoglycan layer is absent. Now beyond cell wall there is one more layer and that layer is cell membrane and this cell membrane encloses 
cytoplasm and all the other internal organelles are dispersed in the cytoplasm. So, it contains vacuole, lysosomes, Golgi bodies, chloroplast, mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum and at the center there is a nuclear membrane which encloses nucleolus. So, this is a basic structure of a eukaryotic cell. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel.